Come what may, they have said they will never surrender to the Russian onslaught. So civilians who have never had a day of military training in their life are now signing up to fight against the Russians. Our next report gets you more details. With the Russian invasion into Ukraine, every able-bodied man in the age group of 18 to 60 has been called to fight and protect the sovereignty of Ukraine. Ever since Russian tanks rolled into the Ukrainian borders, the number of people signing up to join the Ukrainian Territorial Defense Force has shot up. Most of these people training on the outskirts of Fasti had never held a weapon in their life. But now they're prepared to lay down their lives. We were attacked by Russia a long time ago. The war is ongoing already for eight years. We are defending our home. That's why now those simple guys here became reservists. They are patriotic or sack spirits. They know what to do and they are going to stop the enemy. Glory to Ukraine. According to reports, Russian troops have been slowed down by the stout Ukrainian resistance, fuel shortages and other logistical problems. But these conscripts want the West to chip in with some help. The battle for Ukraine, they say, is a battle to protect peace in the whole of Europe. Even the smallest aid is helpful for us. It doesn't matter if it would be a weapon or an equipment. I want to thank all the people. They gather to help, organize checkpoints and sacrifice their vehicles, everything, including their time. They leave their houses to their kids while they fill soil in buckets. They understand everything, but nobody expected this dump would get here. Kiev has been eerily quiet after huge explosions and missile strikes in the last five days. Most other cities across Ukraine had also imposed strict curfew to crack down on infiltrators. The conscripts are hoping that the war must end soon. But one thing they're certain about is they're not going back home till Russian tanks pull out of Ukraine. Bureau report, we on, world is one. As Russian troops intensify attacks on Ukrainian cities, authorities are now ramping up measures to provide a safe shelter to its residents. From newborns crying in bomb shelters, turned into maternity wards, to people trying to make a space in jam-packed underground basements. These visuals are heartbreaking, to say the least. We leave you with this report as we wrap up this broadcast. Stay tuned to Vion for our continuing coverage of the Ukraine conflict. <laughs> My friend who lives in the suburb Corazon, a few hours ago the house next to hers was hit and several floors were destroyed. And for some time there was no connection with her. Those very scary minutes, very scary. There are many children, civilians coming who got shot on the streets. The hardest day was the day before yesterday. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.